Good morning friends, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it's been a little while since I started a vlog not making my bed and not going to the gym. I was gonna start my vlog like that because that's exactly what I have done this morning, but I just don't wanna get super, super repetitive. Even though my life is just repetitive, I feel my life so like bound to be repetitive at some point, but it is currently 11 a.m. So I am starting this vlog a little bit late. I slept in until about seven, which was very nice. I went for a flotation therapy last night, which was really good. I did get a little bit of a sleep in that as well. And then I came home, showered, had dinner and went to bed. So I feel very, very well rested today. I went and had a PT session. We smashed leg day, love leg day every week. It's just the best. Literally killed me. Like my quads are like still kind of on fire. <laughs> but I went straight from my PT session to an eyelash appointment and I got my eyelash extensions refilled. I normally go every three weeks because they tend to last me that amount of time. But I got spontaneously invited to an event this coming Thursday. So I did slot in a quick little appointment this morning and got them refilled. But I just came home I got some zarafas on the way home I am on deload calories this week so from now until next Monday my calories are a little bit different my macro splits a bit different just to kind of rebalance everything in my body and start another like six week like weight loss schedule kind of thing just like balances everything in the body gets you in a good position to like keep going that doesn't really make sense I'm not an expert so like I'm just doing what I'm told but that means my carbs are down and my fats are up so I managed to fit in some zarafas into my food of the day which is incredible but I have finally just got home I feel like I'm getting a very late start to the day in saying that I don't have a ridiculous amount to do but I do need to get into some stuff so my schedule is just so weird now and I haven't really found a good like balance yet I don't I don't really know when this vlog is going up. I feel like my vlogs are like mixed and matched and not in order at the moment. If you didn't know, I quit my day job and YouTube is now my full-time job, which is literally wild. And I haven't really quite found like a good balance and like routine with everything yet. So I have so many things to do and I'm so used to cramming it all into my couple of days off. Whereas now I literally have so much time and I'm trying not to like overwork myself and spread it out because I do have so much more time now. So I'm gonna write a fairly little to-do list. I wanna do some washing. I need to finish editing a video. I need to actually wipe my computer because I'm getting a new one tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I might need to pop to Coles after my gym session tonight. So I might write a grocery list as well. But either way, I'm gonna write a to-do list. I'm gonna finish drinking this coffee and then I'm honestly just gonna get straight into it. All right, let's get hustling. and I've just arrived at Rachel's work. I'm just picking her up and taking her home because her car is broken. But I've had a fairly productive day. I definitely wish that I got more done. But I do still have a little bit of time this afternoon and then after boxing tonight, hopefully. I'm going to have a sleep in tomorrow, so I'm not too stressed about staying up late. I just have a few things that will like make me feel a lot better if I just get them done now instead of later on in the week. I think I'm going to go home, probably have a snack because I'm a little bit hungry. And then pretty much edit until I need to leave for boxing. Go to boxing, come home, have dinner, and just finish 
finished off anything for the video that I need to. Yeah, that's my plan. I also got a package in the mail today from Eamon, which I'm so excited about. So I'll open that later on with you as well. Oh my gosh, I genuinely have so many emails from like DHL and Australia Post telling me that I have so many packages on the way and all of the tracking info for them all. Actually, when DHL dropped off my Eamon package, he like knocked on the door and I had set on my DHL just to leave it in my letterbox. And he knocked on my door and he was like, oh, I saw your car here. So I thought I would just give it to you because he knows me because he delivers me so many packages. I think that's a sign, but also we're friends. So I don't really mind him knocking on my door. I just honestly feel appreciated um, from my postie. Hello. Hi, Miss Rachel. I was like, who are you talking to? <laughs> just my son. I'm about to run out the door and go to boxing, but I quickly wanted to open my Amen package while it was light. And I think I might change my shirt because I have been in the same activewear all day. <laughs> I haven't showered and I'm just gonna go work out again. So I feel like if I change shirts, not bad. it'll make me feel a bit better. Firstly, I'm so excited. This shirt is exactly the same as the one I'm wearing right now, but in white because I love this shirt so much. It is literally perfect. I couldn't, I can't floor it. It's incredible. Meshy, but like not ribbed, very airy, very comfy, and just kind of like slides on your skin. Very nice. They came out with some new, um, really supportive sports bras. Has a really thick straps and it's just made to be a lot more supportive. I also really like how long this band is at the bottom. Grey with some black straps. I love that. And I also got tights and shorts to match that grey ribbed because you can't go wrong with a matching set. So I got these little grey shorts. These are like the shorter version of their normal bike shorts. So That's cute. what they're called. You have these in black. Oh yeah. I haven't tried the shorter version so we'll see how we go. I'm not sure whether I'll love it or not but I'm excited. This also feels a lot more stretchy than like the rest of it like the leg cut out so that's exciting and then i got the gray in some long tights as well just because i feel like you can't really go wrong with a pair of gray full length tights these are ribbed seamless as well love that i also got a couple of things from their new wild collection they brought out so many khaki items and khaki holds a special place in my heart so this one is pretty much exactly the same as the gray sports bra but in khaki are you kidding love how long these are and this one is just like normal material and then has a little bit of the ribbed material just under and along the band as well, which is nice. And one of my favorite pairs of Amen tights are just like the plain black leggings. They're full length. They have the little Amen logo just on the thigh. I wear them all the time. And they brought out the exact same style, but in the new khaki color. So I, of course, had to pick these up as well. They have the little Amen logo just on the side there. Really, really high waisted. This does fold down a little bit just because there's not like an elastic bit at the top that holds it up. But once it folds down, it stays put and doesn't fall down. How fun. This is the set. I've decided to go with the long tights. So, so nice. And then this sports bra, which I'm a really big fan of. I like that it's a little bit longer and feels super supportive. The straps feel super thick. I just say super before every word I say. I'm so annoying. And I love the little tags that they've got going on here. I'm obsessed. I'm going to chuck on a white crop tee over the top and head off. I just got home from my boxing session. It's quarter past eight. I managed to do a quick little grocery shop on my way home just for a couple of things that I needed. As I mentioned earlier in this vlog, my calories are a bit different this week, so I'm eating different things than I normally do. So I had to stock up on a couple of things. Firstly, strawberries to go on top of my protein oats every morning. I got some avocado dip, mainly because I'm not the biggest avocado fan, and I just wanted to add a little bit of this into like my salads and wraps if I can fit that in. I got a cat's skip. Look at the funny shape of this. I genuinely picked this because I thought the shape was funny and it's huge so love that I love makeup skin I got a loaf of bread I haven't actually tried this one before this is the light rye I wanted the low carb one but they are always out of stock like always I got some Yopro vanilla yogurt I've been loving having this with cocoa pops sounds so so random and like almost gross but literally just like a spoonful of this and then like dip it in a bowl of cocoa pops 10 out of 10 so good I got some all-purpose seasoning this is in the seasoned salt flavor I went in looking for taco seasoning because I've been using that on my chicken lately but I couldn't find any and I don't know if I was blind or if I just didn't have any but this honestly just looks really good sounds really good Oh, it smells 
spicy. I also actually picked up some of these. These are the Nescafe 98% sugar-free caramel latte coffee satchels. I have never been a coffee sachet drinker. Um, you guys know I have a coffee machine, so like it doesn't really make sense to have coffee in a satchel when I have a machine. But this is only like 60 calories per serving. Really easy to track and just keep track of what I'm putting in but yeah if this tastes good and actually works i'll definitely let you know obviously there's much healthier ways to drink coffee but there are also ways for you to keep drinking what you want and keep it relatively healthy i use the word healthy very lightly <laughs> don't come for me i also got a lettuce because i'm obsessed with iceberg lettuce i got some coconut no sugar and i also got some pepsi max no sugar creaming soda just to try out i've never tried this out before but i love creaming soda sorry that's my fridge I love creamy soda, so hopefully this tastes good. I also love that it's pink. Um, so I'm going to put this in the pantry and this in the fridge. But that is everything that I picked up. So I'm going to put this all away, cook my dinner. I'm so tired. The last thing I want to do right now is cook dinner. I actually really pride myself. I went grocery shopping and I'm starving. Like I had my salad for lunch at like one o'clock and it's now eight. I'm so hungry. And I didn't buy anything in Woolies that I didn't go in needing. Quite proud of myself, if I do say so myself. My lettuce isn't fitting all in one container. I'm going to hit a three. It's very overexposed. I'd give it a seven. A seven out of ten. Honestly, pretty good for a day in SCP. Quite high. I like SCP. It's just so hard. Didn't have any kids run away today, so. Love that. Caught them before they got away. Did 45 minutes of exercise on an Apple Watch. 47? Just from work. Alright, so I'm going to take my tea upstairs and read. Oh, you're not going to ask me that idea. What do you think? What would you rate it? Maybe a seven. What could have been better? Me not cooking dinner right now. That's fair, honestly. But you and some, you lose some. What was good? Everything else. <laughs> I was gonna say Tuesday. It's definitely Wednesday. It is so gloomy today. It is so sad. I'm not about it. Not really loving it. I'm feeling really like tired and sluggish, I think, mainly because of the weather. But anyway, it is Wednesday. It is almost 7 30. I'm about to head downstairs. I'm gonna make some coffee, make some breakfast, and then I am dropping Rachel at work. And then straight from there, I'm heading to a shopping center, probably Carindale or Chanside, not really too sure yet. And I'm actually gonna go buy a new laptop, which I am so excited about. My little Mac book air has lasted me like almost four years i bought it right when i graduated high school and right when i started my youtube channel and it has done me so much good like it really has lasted me so well but the storage has always been an issue i've had to wipe it so many times just so that i can start fresh and it not be clogged up with so much stuff i know i could get a hard drive and i know that there's other ways around it but considering this is now my full-time job for the time being i want to make sure that i'm putting everything i can into this i also have been editing on iMovie for the past four years which is totally fine it has done everything that I needed it to do but I really really want to step up my editing game and just use really good editing software I also pay for subscriptions so that I can do a lot of the things that iMovie can't for like text and images and music and stuff so I think Final Cut Pro will make that a lot easier obviously much more expensive than iMovie not saying you can't edit on iMovie but I think I've had my fair share iMovie and I've had a long run I'm ready to upgrade <laughs> but I'm really really hungry i think we're gonna have my first two meals because i won't be home for a little while put my coffee in a to-go cup and get the day started
room from my little outing. It turned out to be really, really long. I got very stressed when I got to the Apple store and I didn't really know what was going on. There's like weren't people inside. There were all people like lined up at the front. And so I honestly just literally went on my phone, bought my computer online to pick up in the store and they said it'd be ready in an hour. So I just walked around the shopping center for an hour. Definitely just wasted my time. I should have just done it online before I went, but you live and you learn. It is a pro. So I did have to buy this um, USB to SD card reader thing. I honestly don't have time to open this right now, which hurts my heart so much. I might take it to my brother's house tonight and do it there. But also while I'm showing you some things I got, I also got a package from Cotton On slash Supre yesterday. And I just tried everything on, so I thought I'd quickly show you what I got. First of all, I asked on my Instagram story a little while ago what everyone's favorite swimwear brands were because it's summer. I'm so sick of having just one bikini. So everyone recommended Cotton On and they were the most affordable option as well. So I went to Cotton On Body. I got this little set. First of all, really like these bottoms. They give a lot of coverage on the back, which is really nice. I really liked the ribbed material and I like the pattern of these both as well. I wish they were a little bit more high-waisted, but that's just my personal preference. And then there's this matching top. I really like it. I really like the back. It's just very nice and simple. The straps are adjustable as well, which is ideal, but the front just doesn't really cover me as much as I would like it to. It fits me perfectly other than the cup size, <laughs> which is a little bit annoying, but also I'm sure I will still get somewhere out of this one. And I also got some denim shorts from Supre. Supre stocks up to size 18 online, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they have any in store because I went in and looked today and I could only see up to a size 16. But I picked up two pairs of shorts. So I got the Newport pair of shorts, a little dark wash shorts. They are a little bit shorter than most shorts, but they're really comfy. And honestly, I'm just stoked to have shorts that fit me. So I got those ones. And I also picked up the Venice mum style of shorts and I am obsessed with these. I really wanted to go in store today and pick up more colors in this style but again as I said they didn't have size 18s in store but these fit me perfectly. They're the perfect length. I love the wash of them. These were $40 but I'm pretty sure they were doing two for 60 as well so would highly recommend but that is everything that I got. I just had lunch and I honestly think I'm just going to smash out a little bit of editing and some emails before I head to a physio appointment. My neck is a little bit sore um and one of my friends is a physio so i've booked in to see him he's gonna massage my shoulders and neck out which is really nice and then from there i'll probably head to my parents house for a little bit and hang out just to fill in some time and then i have a pt session at four o'clock so like really weird timings for everything I'm very excited nonetheless excited for my massage excited for pt and then i'll probably go straight from pt to my brother's house as well that's the plan that's how my wednesday's going Happy Thursday. It's currently 9.30 and I just got back home from dropping Rachel off at work. I did stop in at the post office in my home because I missed a package yesterday. This is from Naked Harvest and this is, oh my gosh, very cute. Their new collagen beauty elixir, which is very exciting. So this is for your hair, skin, nails. Very excited to try this out. I've never tried like a beauty supplement before. I don't know how I feel about them because I've never tried one before for but I don't take anything for my hair skin or nails so I guess like it can't hurt to try right can I open the tin is the question <sighs> oh, well that's very full I appreciate that oh my gosh so this is in the pine coconut flavor but I'm pretty sure they have just like a pure one that doesn't have any taste that 
smells so yum. Natural, gluten-free, dairy-free, and this container has 20 servings in it. So I'm really excited to try that out. I'll obviously keep you guys updated. I don't want to update you if I haven't been using it for very long, so I want to try it out for like maybe a month. And if I talk about it again, then you know it's done its job. <laughs> but this packaging is very cute. I'm going to pop this in the recycling. I'm going to do my dishes from this morning, just tidy up. Probably have my second meal of the day as well. And then I need to jump in the shower, exfoliate, shave, and then I need to pop on a quick tan. And then I think while my tan develops, I'm just going to sit in front of my computer all day and do computer work. Which I'm actually really excited about because I'll be using my new computer and I haven't like fully set it up yet. I'm going to have some food, have a shower and get on with my day. home from picking Rachel up from work. It is 3.30 and we're about to sit down and get ready to go to an event tonight, which is very exciting. I feel like a bit of a snob saying I'm going to an event. I don't know why I feel like that, but I got invited to attend a Lorna Jane event tonight, which I'm so excited about. There's either a new store in the Brisbane CBD or the store that's always been there got like a redo. I'm not in the CBD very often, but we got invited to come along, have a look, have some mocktails, and I'm really excited. So Rachel and I are heading in. Very honored to be invited along Long, which is so exciting but also I wouldn't be invited to things like these without you guys supporting me and making the brands want to work with me through your support so a quick thank you to you for supporting me and giving me these opportunities let's get ready got home from the event eight o'clock which is so good and i've honestly just been replying to dms replying emails doing a bunch of random stuff posting some instagram stories of tonight so i'm kind of just like high on life right now <laughs> i did just quickly wanted to say again these opportunities that i get given wouldn't be possible without you guys supporting me so i just wanted to say thank you so so much watching this video supports me liking this video supports me if you ever use any of my discount codes or affiliate links it all seriously means so much and i never want to take it for granted i am so blessed and i'm so grateful the main point of the evening was to display the new store layout of the lona jane in the brisbane cbd 
see but basically as you would have seen from some of the clips there is a big screen on the wall and then under the screen there is a mannequin and then there is a rack with the whole outfit laid out so you kind of just shop in like outfit categories and then if you like something from the rack then you open the drawer that's under the rack and there's just a pile of all of the clothes in there all pre-packaged not worn untouched all completely brand new for you to take home i don't think i mentioned it in this vlog but i put it on my instagram story the other day before i went into the shopping center i was so nervous and uncomfortable and i just hate going shopping especially alone because i find it so incredibly overwhelming that is why i tend to do most of my shopping online and that's why I open a package in almost every single vlog but the new way that this Lorna James store is laid out I literally wish that every single store could take this on board and do it obviously easier said than done but I think Lorna Jane is really just one step ahead of everyone they also had some business people I'm not really quite sure what their official titles were but they got up and they did a couple of speeches um, about like the business side and I thought it was so interesting the one stat that I remember is that 800,000 people have online shopped for the first time this year. Obviously that's COVID's fault but it blows my mind and obviously Lorna Jane has just taken what positives they could from this experience and turning it into even more positives by making this store so easy and almost like your online shopping just in real life and without the shipping. If you live in Brizzy and haven't checked out the new Lorna Jane store I would highly highly recommend i did also receive a goodie bag so i thought that i would open that up and show you everything that i got again so blessed and so grateful genuinely don't know how this is my life but i got to choose two outfits you would have seen me trying these on in the change room so i got these navy bike shorts are you kidding me so cute the perfect perfect length they also have a pocket on both sides are you kidding one for your phone one for literally everything else and then i got a little matching top to go along with it so it's just this navy top it's got a built-in sports bra in it but i think this is the cutest little top and my favorite bit are the straps that have the lana jane logo on it and they're adjustable which is literally perfect and the other set that i got is a little bit outside of my comfort zone but honestly i saw one of the staff members wearing it and then i saw it on the screen and then i saw it on the mannequin and then i pulled it out in my size and i I was like, oh my gosh, Rachel, I need this don't I? And she was like, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? You're kidding me. That is so fun. The matching bottoms. <laughs> You're kidding. This material is just like unstoppable. These are a little bit thicker than the navy. The way they fit my legs, incredible. Doesn't dig in one single bit. So stretchy, so fun. I also thought it'd be helpful to note that I do still have a discount code with Lorna Jane. This vlog isn't sponsored, but my code is Georgia20 if you did want to save yourself some money. My neighbor's dog is barking at 11.30 p.m., which worries me. Also, just quickly wanted to say, I got this comment on one of my hauls recently because I said in my haul that when you guys send me DMs on Instagram of what you pick up using my discount code, it fuels my shopping addiction, which is not wrong. I was not lying, but they said that you using my code pays my bills but i just wanted to let you know that using my discount code doesn't give me a single thing except for more opportunities with that brand so obviously people have used my code on lana jane enough for them to kindly invite me to their event tonight and want to continue working with me in the future if i tell you that i have an affiliate link or an affiliate code that means i do receive a small commission off any purchase that is made through that but it is only if it's affiliate if it is just a discount code it is purely for you to save a percentage off your order and for the brand to know that you came through me just wanted to clear that up but i'm gonna pack this all away take my makeup off and go to bed friends it is currently friday why does my hair look like that let's ignore that it's 10 30 and i just got home from running a couple of errands i took rachel to work i went to my parents house and picked up a package and then i quickly just popped into coles and did a little mini grocery shop i just got home so i thought that i would a show you the package that i picked up and b show you a little mini grocery haul first things first the team over at too good was kind enough to send me over some yogurt which is so exciting I have never been sent food in my life, so I am so excited about it.
about this. And if you've watched any of my vlogs, you know that in almost every grocery haul, I have some type of yogurt. I'm always kind of switching up the brand and stuff, but it is always a low sugar or high protein yogurt. So this Too Good package is literally like perfect. Firstly, very cute little coconut bowl and spoon. That is the cutest thing ever. And these little jars, I'm sorry, are too cute. So you have some macadamia slivers, some cacao nibs, and some Byron Bay peanut butter, which is super cool. These jars are so cute. I'm definitely going to use them in my pantry or to propagate plants at some point in the future. And then we obviously have all the yogurt flavors. So we have strawberry, peach, vanilla, mango, cherry, and salted caramel. So excited to try salted caramel. There's the macros for you if you're interested. But 76 calories, 11 grams of protein, and only 2 grams of sugar. Like, are you kidding? A big thank you to Too Good for gifting me with this. This is so exciting. Secondly, here is my very random grocery haul that doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> Firstly, over here, we've got some eggs. I also picked up this Alpro, Alpro, I don't know how you say that, plant protein chocolate flavored milk. So this has 10 grams of protein per serve. So I thought that this would be nice kind of just to chuck in my coffee, just to get that little bit of extra protein in there. And it's chocolate, so surely that tastes good. We got some dishwashing liquid because we needed some. I got some sour cream because I'm cooking up some pork mince today. And I thought that'd be nice to have in my taco bowl. I also picked up these Yopro ice creams. I haven't tried these before. I've tried like a similar concept to this, I think by Halo Top. And I didn't really love them, but I love Yopro yogurt. I love all the yogurt. So I'm hoping that these taste good and they're only 100 calories per ice block. Very excited to give these a go. I honestly don't know if I have room in my freezer for these. This is definitely an impulse purchase, but what are you gonna do? I got some chicken, I got some lettuce, and then this is just my pile of snacks. <laughs> I'm hanging out with one of my friends this afternoon and we're having a little picnic and we're just bringing our own snacks. I definitely was hungry when I bought all of these. I did not need all of them. I should have just got, honestly, just these two, but I got all four. So we're just gonna live with it. I've never tried these before, but I've heard so much about them. They're the Table of Plenty mini rice cakes and they have milk chocolate under them, which sounds so yum. Also like very small bag. I feel like I could demolish this in one sitting, so. We'll see how we go. I got some Maltesers because definitely sucked in. They're on sale. What are you going to do? I got some chocolate pretzels and then I also got some Cobb's sea salt popcorn. Again, I haven't tried this out, but I've heard so many people talk about it. That is everything that I picked up. I'm going to put this all in my fridge, put it all away. And then I'm going to have my first and second meal probably because I haven't eaten yet this morning and I'm so hungry. Hence all of the snacks and impulse purchases I made. But after I've eaten, I think I'm going to go on a big long walk. I need to obviously close my move ring today because it's perfect enough. October. I need to close my move and exercise ring today. Now is my only time I'm going to be able to get some movement in. Also, please ignore the skin on my shoulders when we're dealing with it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to eat. I'm going to have some protein oats and then I'm probably going to have some eggs on a piece of toast as well. Eat all the food. I'm so excited. And then I'll probably just end up getting a little bit of work done before I go and have my picnic with my friend this afternoon, which is really exciting. Woohoo! Happy Friday! Quick little Friday night update. Today definitely wasn't what I expected, but I had a really good day. I got enough things done to make it a kind of productive day. I came home, I just finished a workout, hence this sweaty mess. But I got home to a Gymshark package and I'm so sorry that I've opened so many packages in this vlog. But also I always want to see what everyone else opens in packages. So I'm going to open this. I kind of have a rough idea of what it might be, but I also have no idea. So I'm low-key freaking out, but I'm trying not to freak out too much. I know. I saw the color, I saw it, I saw it right in there, I saw it. <laughs> it's sage. I might cry. I can't. Can I see what's in the That's so different to what I thought. Oh, the blue! Stop! Georgia. Thank you, Whitney. Actual goddess. This is your daily reminder that you are beautiful. Beautiful in every sense of the word because beauty is about embracing what makes you, you. It's about owning your flaws and imperfections like no one else could. You are you and that is beautiful. Maybe you should stick this to your mirror. Love Whitney Simmons and the gym shop. This book. A freaking journal? Gratitude. Whitney loves to journal. That is so freaking cute. A beautiful day to be alive. I'm literally this clip is just mute. I'm not saying a single word. Wow. Very excited about this bum elastic. Wow, they feel so nice. Are those the other ones? <gasps> they are! 
Whitney ribbed waist leggings. No! What? The blue. Come on. I am Whitney Simmons. Dye my hair blonde and call me Whitney Simmons. Wow. Wow. Cool. Pockets. Pocket. Zip pockets. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Stop. That's so cute. I'm not well. <gasps> Sophie knows what's up. Sophie really knows what's up. This is so soft. Feel that. <gasps> Does it Not what you expect, right? Very, Very thin, but heavy and soft. You're kidding me. The tank. The tank. Oh, I love it. I love how subtle that is. That is so nice. It actually feels like Christmas. You know when you open all your gifts on Christmas? You just like lay them out and stare at them? I don't even know what to say. If you have no idea what I just opened, because I didn't explain it at all, because I'm honestly just like mind blown right now. One of my favorite internet people ever, Whitney Simmons, is bringing out a second collection with Gymshark. And Gymshark was kind enough to send me over a little package of it. And I'm so mind blown. I literally posted on my story the other day saying that I was ready to use my own affiliate link to buy some of this collection because it is so beautiful. And I love Whitney so much. This is insane. And I literally said to Rachel in the car that I would choose the sage set and the black tank. What? Not okay. I'm not well. This is too much. Sophie, if you're watching this, really appreciate you. This is insane. I'm going to sit here and be incredibly grateful for my life. Probably take a couple of Insta stories. Pray that Whitney Simmons notices me. And then go to bed. <laughs> Without snacks. <laughs>